point number eight uh, of issues that could, could uh, contaminate with sterile technique uh, could be placing on uh, of the tape and of course adding the date and time and initials onto the tape. Now, several things could be an issue here. Let's say that you forgot early to grab the tape and put it on the surface so that you would have it ready uh, for the dressing. One common issue is one who may have contaminants on their hand could touch the tape with the gloves on and your hand at some point be contaminated with uh, contaminants from the wound and we don't want that to occur. Uh, and we don't want that to occur because someone else who may not be using uh, the tape for wounds may pick up this piece of tape and then they may become contaminated. So we want to make sure that any time we deal with this we want to take the gloves off. All right. So we want to take the gloves off. Now if the tape was already in place then we want to make sure we put the tape on top of the area so that we can tape down this area here. All right. If we need another piece we'll tape that in the area. But what we want to make sure of is make sure that the tape does not go over the skin. We don't want to tape over the skin. We just want to tape the actual dressing. So if I need to come in between here, I could come in between there or in that area there, but make sure I do not tape the skin. Uh, some patients have skin like paper, and if you peel off the tape from the skin, the skin could come along with it, and we don't want that to occur. Now, I have two pieces of tape that I tore off earlier but I do not have enough, for example, so that I can put the date, time, and initial. So as I said before, we want to not touch the uh, tape here with the gloves. If you want to use that, you also don't want to touch the pen when you're actually doing the date and time and initials because someone else may use the pen or you may use the pen later on uh, and the pen is now infected and you could infect yourself. So make sure don't touch the tape, don't touch the pen with the gloves on. Properly take the gloves off. Properly take the gloves off. Again, pulling from the middle and pulling off. Okay. And then going underneath here, touching the bare surface of the body, pulling inside out and then we would throw the gloves away. Then we would use the pen. All right. Now, we don't want to take the tape and put it on the patient and then write on the patient. That is very uh, uh, disrespectful. We don't want to do that. So, if you want to write the date and time and initials, don't write it on the patient. Write it on the tape first, and then place the tape that you wrote the date and time and initials on, on the patient. So I'll put the date, and when I put the date, I want to put the entire date on the tape. So I want to put the date 10 30 09. I also want to put the time, and right now the time is 2.17 p.m. In some places they may put military time, so do what's according to the location where you work. And I want to put my initials so someone else can read it. So they can tell what every letter is on that piece of tape. And then place it on to the dressing area, not over the skin. And that is issues that may occur with putting the tape onto the dressing.